Hi everyone, Dorota Palicka International, Nila Artisan Educator here and today we are going to create a beautiful set. I actually wanted to have it on my nails so, because I really fancy a grey nails, uh, but I went for pink and white for a change. No, I always go for pink and white, that's the truth. But anyway, have a preview of this awesome set and grey in here. That's what we will create today and it's not over the top, really nice and kind of elegant, classy look. I hope you really enjoy watching it and uh, if you do, let me know in the comments below. So let's start. Nice and simple set for a change in grey and uh, I wanted to do a grey nails actually for a long time and uh, I think they look actually quite nice together and I will show you how to recreate this look. And the color which we are going to use is uh, 222 and it's a really lovely grey. Uh, so I'm just going to paint all... Who? Okay, no, we have to do the check design in here. So for the check design I'm using those 222, that's a middle finger so everything goes together and you can see it as a really beautiful grey. I actually love the coverage of the water gel polish as well, like I mean some of them are quite nice in a one coat, um, uh, obviously some of them need two coats. So I'm going to cook it in and then in this finger we are going to do the exactly the same design like here and guys look at this beauty i'm so actually surprised how nice it looks it's a new collection as well it's called um, morning folk and it's a 232 color and i love it um, it's really beautiful like looks amazing uh, unfortunately like i'm sorry guys like for new collections we've got always um, limited stock because i kind of need to Oh my goodness, look for this. I always need to check them, like test them. And then once I'm sure like the colors got amazing coverage and things like that, I'm ordering always more. Uh, so uh, to start with, we are going to have just a few in stock and then I'm going to reorder more. Again, I'm going to go for a one coat coverage like this one, but because it's a metallic color, uh, what I'm doing is when I'm painting it, I have to make sure my brush strokes look really nice and even, uh, just so um, the nail looks nice. And then on this one, I've got Dilemma now, because uh, it was such a beautiful color, but we've just painted um, kind of plain gray. So just a plain gray. and then cook it in. Okay, the first nail is ready and we are going to uh, paint those checkered look. So I'm going to use the D-liner brush because uh, I actually love this brush for the lines. Like I'm not the fan of doing the lines in general, uh, but with this brush, the life is just so much easier. And what we are going to do is have the paint on French gel and then the gray color, which we have used for the design. I'm going to mix it and use for some lighter colors, okay? So I'm just going to mix it with my French, just so I receive the lighter shade. And with this lighter shade, we are going to paint a couple thicker lines. Gosh, my hands. <laughs> A 
this is terrible line. <laughs> okay, but we have painted a thicker one. And then I'm going like kind of in the middle, paint another thicker line. It's almost like painting a wee cross. Actually, checkered designs are, uh, I would say, almost pretty time consuming. Uh, but that's, uh, that's the thicker lines and they always take a longer time. Let's cook it. And in, in the meantime, we are going to prepare the black gel. So using the old brush, I don't want to damage my good brush. I'm just going to pick up a scoop of the black. And I've got so many exciting stuff coming up, guys. Uh, we are going to introduce lots of new products uh, under our name, which is so fantastic. Um, so I'm actually looking forward to that. Now I'm going to clean. I have cleaned my brush and I'm picking up like a really uh, thin black lines. Okay, so nice and nice and thin and we are going to add a couple of those black lines. So I've got one. I might do one on the side. And another one. Because black is quite heavy color, I always start doing a black lines first and then I will add the white ones at the ends. Okay, give it a cook. Okay, let's start doing those awesome design which we've got on the ring finger because I think that is really fantastic and it's not over the top. So I'm using the black gel to do a little black outline and I'm kind of almost painting a letter S-ish like so it's nice and wavy and then just color that in. You could also use the gel polish for it as well. I just quite like to use the paint gels. Um, yeah, but we will have some art gels coming up and a new packaging as well, which is so exciting. And so those the fiber gels. So the fiber gels from the Neil Perfect will be in the matte, um, matte packaging, black matte. And then we are going to have those uh, bling fiber gels, black under the R name which I'm really looking forward to show you once they, once they arrive. But shh, that's a wee secret. <laughs> okay, so I have just painted some black in there. Maybe even a little bit more on the top just so I can squeeze the snowflake. Easily cook it in. Okay, the check design. I'm going to clean my brush because obviously it's messy from painting the black. So usually I pick up a drop of the UV cleanser on my bra uh, on my wipe just to remove the excess of the color. Now, we, because we are swapping for the white, I need to prep my brush for that. So I need to get my brush to soak in this paint and then clean it because you can see I have got gray color on my brush. Now, so and then pick up the white. Okay, nice and thin as well. And then we are going to do a couple of those white lines. You can make some of them a little bit thicker. 
and some of them nice and thin. I want to also guys show you how I'm picking up my paint for the quickness. So I'm not going like this because then I've got a blob of the product and that will be really difficult. What I'm doing is, so first of all, I'm rolling my brush. You can see how thinner it becomes and I'm picking my brush, uh, my paint dragging it. So I have loaded my brush, but I don't have a blob of the product, okay? This is a really handy tip for you um, as well. So this way I've got quite a nice amount of the paint and my brush is behaving. Not that my hands do today. <laughs> really shaky. You kind of want to do quite a decent amount of those lines. And then cook it in. Okay, time for the fun part on our uh, index finger. I'm going to apply the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel over it. So pick up the top coat and cover the entire nail. I had such a dilemma like when I painted this color on one nail, it's like, oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. It is actually a shame to cover it, <laughs> the silver, but. Okay, this one is cooked, so we are just going to apply the matte top coat. And because the other nails are so rich, I don't want to do uh, any designs over it. Uh, I mean, there is so many uh, different ideas on the channel. You need to check those previous videos, guys, um, because I have used the check design as a background to paint some design on top. Even like the bow I've got in here, there is a check design underneath, which I think make it um, more interesting you know those designs are more looking more complicated uh, but when we break them down they are really nice simple and easy now here I need to do something just because otherwise it's just not going to look nice uh, so I'm just going to apply the top coat over it And we will have to paint like a very simple snowflake or something just so the thumb doesn't feel empty and forgotten. Okay, this one is ready. No, actually the matte one is ready. This one isn't ready. Just give it a couple seconds longer. So the middle finger is cooked. And I'm just going to place it there. I also had dilemma because I was thinking I will do maybe Swarovski Pixie because it will really go with it as well. Uh, like, honestly, it will go so much. Um, but no, I will leave it for a different set. Now here, let's do the snowflake. And this is so easy type of snowflake. Uh, like, really easy. So I'm picking up my French gel and do one dot. Then another one and another one. Another one and another one. And then two, another two, and then just one dots in here. One, 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 and one. So it's all made from dots. Your brush needs to be quite clean so you have no excess of the product in there. And then you are going to drag it. So just drag it. Clean it. Drag it. And you just keep dragging the
product. So it's a really easy way of, of doing the snowflakes. And then half of the snowflake. Gosh, this is terrible. <laughs> Drag it, clean the brush, and then the wavy part. So for wavy part, I'm picking up a really decent, actually I've got even not enough on my mixing palette. So I'm picking up decent amount of the product, just wipe off the excess of it, and then where the silver is, just so I don't um, don't go over the black, I'm painting wavy line, really nice and thick. Give it a curve to it. Paint another one. Don't make it a too straight. You want those wave in there. Nice curvy shape. And the one on the bottom. Okay, so we have completed this design. And now what you could do is you could leave it the way it is. Uh, and just cure it or you could put a sugar effect. I'm going to use the new one we've got and this is called a snow effect. So the snow like on mine I've got sugar and the sugar is uh, with the glitter. So sorry guys, I don't want to damage the tip. <laughs> so this one is uh, sparkling into different colors and then this sugar is uh, in a white, white silver kind of color. Uh, so it's great like for um, for even those black, white and gray design because it doesn't introduce another color through it. So I'm just sprinkle entire tip and because we've got high shine no wipe top gel um, the product is going to stick in only to the places where we've got white. Cook it in and then quickly I'm going to paint just exactly the same snowflake just to keep the things kind of matching and simple. So a decent, <coughs> decent dot and dot. Actually, when I look now uh, for all the videos which we have done, like that, you've got so many different types of snowflake guys, which I have showed this year, uh, which is fantastic. Plus the ones from the last year as well. If you didn't watch some of those videos, you need to check them out as well. And there will be also a few for a new year and then we will move on into January news. Gosh, times fly. You could make the snowflake look more complicated by adding some other bits and pieces to it. This is probably the easiest way to paint some snowflakes. And they look pretty, like really pretty. So sprinkle it and then cook it. Let's close the product and show you the final results. I hope you have guys uh, also enjoyed it and um, I cannot wait to, to show you the next tutorials. Like my head is exploding with all the different ideas again. Uh, so I'm just going to clean the excess and you can see it. Uh, perfect, thank you. That it has really nice texture but it doesn't change the color. Uh, so it's a really nice white 
uh, snow effect and I really like it because sometimes we don't want to put those uh, sparkling color into it we want to keep it nice and white okay and the last one couple seconds longer like when you're curing the sugar make sure you cure it at, uh, for a long time um, so I would suggest 60 seconds at least uh, even if your lamp is kind of not a first uh, quality or not the fresh one uh, cook it a little bit more like even uh, 90 seconds and uh, but that's the set which we have created uh, today I hope you have guys really oh it's really nice actually really really nice guys and look at the silver color the morning fog really nice uh, yeah I'm sending you lots of wow lots of glittery hugs <laughs> bye for now